Agrimly is an AI powered platform for online agriculture education. Hello everyone. I hope your preparation is going well. In this session, we are going to discuss a news article that is very useful for your upcoming IAS CSE mains exams and other general studies based exams. We will not be discussing the news articles line by line. Instead, without wasting time, we will directly discuss the questions that can be created from this news article. Here is the question extracted from this news article. Question: How has the evolution of the National Capital Territory (NCT) of Delhi led to the current political and administrative conflicts between the Union Government, the Delhi Government, and the Municipal Corporation of Delhi (MCD)? Answer: First part of the answer is background of the evolution of delhi government point number 1 at the commencement of the constitution in 1950 delhi was categorized as a part c state point number 2 during the state's reorganization in 1956 delhi was designated as a union territory governed by an administrator point number 3 the municipal corporation of delhi mcd was established in 1958 followed by the introduction of a limited local government in 1966 point number 4 in 1991 the 69th constitutional amendment created a legislative assembly and a council of ministers for the ncd of delhi however key subjects like public order police and land remained under union government control second part of the answer is key issues and conflicts point number 1 since 2015 political conflicts between the Bharatiya Janata Party BJP at the union level and the Aam Aadmi Party AAP at the Delhi level have intensified point number 2 supreme court judgments have led to amendments in the government of NCT of Delhi act limiting the powers of the Delhi government point number 3 the MCD adds another layer of complexity as demonstrated in recent incidents of electrocution and flooding where there was a blame game among different levels of government Third part of the answer is way forward. Point number 1, in its 2023 judgment, the Supreme Court highlighted the need for a triple chain of accountability in a democracy. Point number 2, a potential solution could involve a constitutional amendment to allow the central government to have complete control over New Delhi, 50 to 100 SQKMS, while the rest of the NCT of Delhi could fall under the jurisdiction of the Delhi Assembly. Point number 3, Respecting the spirit of the 2023 Supreme Court judgment is essential to ensure responsible governance across all layers of government in Delhi. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for watching this video. If it was useful for you, then do like and share it among friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Agrimly IS so that you can get notifications about our future videos on time.